One of the things I've appreciated most about Polly, the extraordinary balance that is sought here for the students among body, mind, and importantly, character. And I really think we do strive to create in our students a full life here. You know, developing the mind and developing the body go, should go hand in hand. Kids are open to anything. If you sit down with them and just talk to them straight, they will work hard for you, they will dig deep for you, they will go above and beyond for you. The goal of the fitness center is, is to arm students with the knowledge of wellness. Being physical and being fit isn't just about the physical component. It's been proven to help you sleep better. You help metabolize food faster. You help to stay focused during your class. Young Americans are suffering from obesity and, and other diseases that, that are caused by being overweight. We care about our, our students and their health. Every parent wants a healthy child. And a healthy child is a confident child. A healthy child is more likely to be a strong child. And with that strength comes more confidence. And the more confidence they have, the more likely they are to take risks, take challenges, because in life, you know, very often we can be our own reasons for success and our own reasons for, for failure. Fencing is one of those sports like track and field or swimming. The participants perform individually. It's a very mental sport, getting in the head of your opponent. And I have always liked logic games. So there's a lot of thinking involved, and I like thinking. After doing fencing, I found that I ran track a lot differently because I was lighter on my feet. You can think faster. It helps you with your school, helps you with grades. There is something to be said for that individualism in, in sportsmanship that requires not just focus, but a certain amount of discipline and self-reflection. A lot of wrestlers enjoy playing chess, and because it's physical chess, it's strategy, um, you can't hide, you have to be able to think two, three steps ahead. One of the great philosophers of the world, Plato, was, the, was, was a wrestler. He was a champion intellectually and a champion in a sport, and that's kind of been the tradition also with, within the sport. that. Yes, it's physically demanding, but you should also exercise your, your mind. You yourself have to go do the morning runs, do the morning lifts, do that extra time in the room, come early to the room, ask the coach for extra technique. That's everything on you. And, you know, to learn that at such a young age that, like, your life is in your hands, it's, I don't know, it's really helped me get through a lot of things in life. You're out there on the court by yourself. There's pressure to, to do well and, and to push yourself and to be determined and, and to come back when you're down, to show grit and to be really, really tough in, in the face of adversity. Poly is a hard school, so sometimes I struggle with academics, but even when I'm struggling, there's, I can always do better and I can always go ask a teacher for help and I can always keep trying and I shouldn't just give up on my courses or give up on doing work because I feel like I'm going to fail. And in the end, like after working hard and succeeding, you feel better and more accomplished. Our health curriculum is essentially an academic exercise. It's the imparting information and an opportunity to talk about uh, controversial issues of sexuality or drug or alcohol use. In ninth grade, they're thinking about sex, they're thinking about drugs and alcohol. In 11th and 12th grade, they might be doing it. And so um, retooling that information and giving them that booster is really vital, particularly before they go off to college. It's not just the internet, it's the changes that we've seen all over when we talk about TV shows and the over-sexualization of teenagers. And they see it and they feel it, and they really want to talk about it. 
We've learned much more in recent years about the importance of wellness and, and taking care of our bodies and, and how that affects our work, our, our being. And we want to help them create habits that are going to allow them to be healthy, productive people. So if we want to get these women to lift heavier, to jump higher, to be faster on the court, then we need the facility to do that and right now we're limited in our resources. I think that every child, to be really successful in the classroom, on the playing field, wherever they are, they need to understand health and value health. So I had a bad day, you better get up anyway. You better take your time and baby use your mind to create a better way. Let's go! Against the grain, you gotta push right through the pain. Those who keep on trying again and again. Get up! No more waiting, child. Let the beat get you off the seat.